Sarah Roberts, the wonderful Vince Colossimo. just a bundle of laughs and especially with these guys I mean look at that hey what a lineup and and the rest of the cast they're in there somewhere somewhere but um they're up in the cheap seats <laughs> um but yeah and, and look it was a it was a dream come true because in, in 1988 or 1989 I went to go and see a show called Wogs Out of Work and uh, I saw Nick on stage with a couple other guys, and I thought to myself, I, I can actually do that. I didn't know that us, Wogs, uh, can get up on stage and perform, and, and because of that I ended up becoming a, a performer, an actor, a comedian, and then moved into uh, directing film and television. So, and he's a great director, folks. Put your hands together for him. I got this guy to thank. Um, and, and even when I saw Moving Out with uh, Vince Colosimo, you remember that film? I heard, I heard someone speaking Calabresi on the big, on the big screen. Woo! Yeah! So, um, yeah, it was a joy. We had a lot of fun. It's, it's a wonderful little film and we're very proud. <laughs> what, was it like, what was it like for you, Nick, third time round? Hey, I loved it. Working with this guy here again was a dream and an absolute pleasure. Did you have a good time, Vince, on the film? I haven't got a mic, probably. <laughs> was it a good time? Yeah, it was great. It was great. I mean, we, we started in 2020 and uh, we said we'll do one every 10 years. We did one in uh, 2000 and then 2010. And then we did 2020, but because um, of COVID, we had to wait a couple of years. So that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's worth the wait. Um, <laughs> it's like being Frank again. Frank never leaves me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty simple. I like how I come back to Frank. I actually do like coming back to Frank. No, makes no apologies, no, I like, I like friends. I'll tell you something quite amazing. All these guys, uh, actually, the boys have, but these two here haven't seen the film yet. So they're going to be watching themselves in the film alongside yourselves tonight, folks, which is going to be a very special experience for them. Frank and I, of course, you, you, you and I have seen it, the Swiss boys have seen it. Sarah, what was it like uh, being in a one boy film? Sarah Roberts, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Poor thing. Well, you put up with us. <laughs> it was a boys club. Um, happy, happy. It was happy, happy, wasn't it? Um, I had a great time. It was um, such an honour to bring Cleo to the screen. Um, and I uh, keep trying to convince Nick that we need to do a Wog Boys 4. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> May I'll be on the picture by then. <laughs> and I think we need to do Shut it. up, you're on the picture now. <laughs> Again, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, we'll That's see. That's what you said yesterday. You thought we were going out of the season. Yeah. Suck. No, I had such a great time working with all of these men. It was such a privilege and an honour, and um, it's a great film. I hope you guys like it. Thanks, Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, Sushi Mango. Hello, you going to speak first? Sir, you're speaking first. If you want. I want, my friend. Let's do it. Tell us about your experience on the film. It was shit. <laughs> Guys. Walk Boy 3. Let's hear it. Come on. Seriously, it's, a, it's very surreal for us because um, I remember going to the theatre when I was about 18, 19 years old. And I was stoned. <laughs> I don't... Smoking more, it was back then, it's fine. Uh, and I just remember looking at the screen and thinking, there's someone who looks and talks like me, and I was bewildered by it. And I'm just very proud that we're a part of this third instalment. It's one of the, uh, the best, uh, best performing franchises in, in Australian history. Yeah. And it's fantastic because we're in it. 
Thanks, Kitty. Everyone has been fantastic. It's an honour for us to be a part of it. Thank you very much. It was for us too, mate. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, mate. We, we hope you enjoy the film, so... You are going to see it. You will, you'll see it. <laughs> Oops, Oops. Andrew. Uh, uh, well, it was a wonderful honour and privilege to work with a trained professional like Nick and, and Frank and... and uh... What's your name? Fitz. Fitz, my No, no, it was, uh, it was honestly a lovely, a lovely experience. Thank you so much. I'm not normally up here dressed like this. I'm normally up in my mum's underwear and doing something stupid. So, uh, excuse me if I fumble up a little bit here, but that uh, was a wonderful experience. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity, Nick. And uh, we, you guys are going to You're going to love it. My pleasure, Andrew. Joe! Hello, mate! Yassel, mate! Hello, everyone! Ah, look at yeah. Tell you a great story before Joe talks. I saw these guys on the internet in 2016, and I was blown away. I saw the raw talent. And I grabbed Joe, called this guy up, I said, let's have a coffee, I want to talk to you. And uh, he thought I wanted to talk to him because I wanted to be one of their sushi mango videos. <laughs> I said, no, nah, mate, I want you to be my next station. I think he shat his pants there and then. Uh, well, what, what, what actually happened, we, we, did, we, we caught up and we, we, had, uh, we had a coffee and he said, uh, and me and the boys were like, all right, we'll get Nick in a video, it'd be great. You know? And um, we sat down, we started talking and I'm like, so when do you want to do this video? He goes, no, 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 no. I want you boys to be in one of my stage shows. And I went, now, I said to Nick, oh, right, cool, right, okay. But shit came out. <laughs> While I was at the table, that shit was going down my leg. I was just shitting for hours. And then I think I turned for a one second and we were sitting like this together and I just went, Whoa! Vomited as well. And then the waiter's waitress came over and said, yeah, everything's fine. I said, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> But let me say this, Joe, and then we didn't do the show. <laughs> but let me say this on your behalf and your boys' behalf. So I talked about walks out of work and all the other stuff I've done breaking records. Um, we broke the record here in 99 for 12 weeks at the ballet, but here's what I'm really proud of. You guys have taken the mantle, you're doing an absolutely fantastic job, and you're fucking breaking records all on your own. Congratulations. <laughs> that was amazing. The thing is, is that when we did uh, walks at work in 2017 with Nick, uh, and then we did Star Wars, same with you as well. We, we, we learned so much. Like he just, didn't, like he just didn't come along and just do a fucking show. We were doing our own thing. He taught us a lot. And, um, and that's the reason why we've broken these records and done what we've done. So I can't believe, like everyone else, that I'm in Walk Boy 3, seeing it for the first time, even though I'm, I'm wearing a fucking dress. <laughs> in the movie, I've gone binary in this fucking movie, all right? <laughs> Bullshit, he's a cross-dresser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's been an honour to work with you all, Frank, Nick, Vince, Sarah, all of us, thank you. And you're going to love the movie. If you don't, it's, you fucking pay anyway, so you can. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're going to take one more photo. Mary, come out here. Annie Wallace, you want the same thing with the audience? All right, everyone stand this time. We'll sit down. Except the Maltese, you've got to stand on the seat. <laughs> Here we go. What do we do? How does this work? Boys, you're the masters of this. What do we do? Like this? Alright, here we go. Ready? One.